Ola tribe. So I've been, some of you know I've been practicing in like a new, I call it this like new ancient medicine. And so I've been getting a lot of feedback and I'm psyched, people are like loving it and they want to do more of it. So I'm looking presently right now of how to get my stuff out there live. I don't have enough followers. Um, so if you can help me with that, I would love that. Uh, however, a lot of these things require an, an, like, you know, ridiculous amount of followers in order to achieve a live streams. So, um, I'm where I'm at and I'll just make videos until we can find a live stream way. Okay. Um, but we will, I'll keep trying to get more people to understand this method. And so what you're seeing me do here is tapping. So let me just bring into focus that I've been trying to do the work for the last, you know, hour and got distracted. I did some of the work and then I was like, eh, I have all these other things I can do rather than be present with myself. So I decided to film it because I'm going to force myself to be present with myself because it's kind of my only way. Let's not lie. I'm just an asshole, right? You know, like everybody else, I resist doing the work. I resist doing the work. Just saying, like you're all, we're all in this together, right? Oh, I could do so many other things other than the work. So what I'm doing right now, if you wish to join me in this practice, I invite you to do so. And so right now, I just have my thumbs tapping into my pecs, the pecs uh, into the clavicle area a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm just stimulating the, the nervous system. You can hear my breathing change, right? It's like, ah, there's crap, there's crap. I haven't met a human being yet that doesn't have crap in this area. This is your lung meridian, all of this good jazz. I pray I'm, I am correct in all of that. Um, if I'm ever incorrect in some of my, you know, information, please feel free to communicate that to me. I'm always wanting to learn more. And sometimes my memory doesn't always serve me as far as like certain things like that. I might screw it up. So um, with that being said, let's get into a practice. Let's get into a practice. I am going to do a whole lot of pounding and I'm gonna do a whole lot of shaking and I will talk you through what I'm doing and I invite you to utilize any of the tools that I'm using and see how it goes for you. Um, so if you noticed on my last, um, oh, my last video, I talked about my skull had been shifted and so I'm still working through some of those things. You will probably forever, forever see me making weird fucking faces. Let's just be honest here. Those that know me tell me I've always given good face. It's pretty much what I've been told. I give good face. Um, I'm cool with it. It's just who I am as a being. Uh, so I, I make really weird faces. Um, I'm very expressive. I have no poker face. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, however, you're going to see me make really weird faces, so I encourage you to do the same. If there's something that you need to express, get it the fuck out of your body. Bottom line, let's start here. Musical instrument, you're gonna hear these things from me all the time, okay? This is a musical instrument, it is a sound system. You can hear the change of my tone of voice based off of where I am tapping. You can hear the difference in it, right? Well, regardless if I'm tapping my body or not, that sound is moving through. So every time you take a breath, that sound is moving through you. Fucking insane, right? And we don't even know it. We're just so disconnected from it. So let's get connected to it, right? And so what you're gonna see me doing is pounding. I'll have various forms of pounding. You will, we'll use the backhand, we'll use knuckles, I'll use thumbs, um, duck beak, the three finger, um, I know there's another name for that. I'll have to find out what that one is. I believe that is duck beak. This is another one. This is another one. All five open palm fingers, um, two fingers, five fingers, whatever you need, thumb. Each one is its own <sighs> method. Each one is going to create a different uh, feeling, but it's also going to create, um, it's like a different tool. It might work differently depending on where, what location you're in. So don't be limited to what you're doing. Try these different things with your hands, okay? So five fingers, two fingers, you know, all this kind of shit. Pounding, um, yeah, go from there. What else is there, what else is there? 
Um, yeah, let's get into it. So sounds, any sounds you want to make, toning, pounding, screaming, kicking, crying, all of the above are brilliant. So let's get into this practice. So let's just start by moving around. If you're going to join me, then I want you to take your shoulders and drop them up and down, right? You can go slow. You can go slow. But I've been doing this for a while, so I'm going to, I'm going to keep my heat. I'm going to keep my heat. Fascia, connective tissue, moves best with heat. So I'm moving my shoulders. I'm moving my spine a little bit. I'm giving a good, right, back and forth, back and forth, opening the channels, right? And now I'm going to even go to my side a little bit. I'm going to open up. Oh, I can feel that in my neck, my lower QL area, my lower back region, all of this. And so you might not be able to move at this like pounding, right? Like this like shaky thing. You might only be able to do this and that's okay. Um, but if you can do like a little pulse, pulsing would be ideal. Then I want you to come up and I want you to tap. We're going to tap our whole entire bodies right now. We're just going to cover from head to toe and see how that is. Um, let's see. So you're not going to be able to see me fully, but let's start here. The energy, the energy, inner thighs, inner thighs, inner arms, inner thighs. That energy is yin. It comes into the body. Yang, outer line, outer line of the legs, that comes out of the body. So I like to, and I believe it's part of most methods, is that that energy comes in. So when I tap my inner line, I come in and up and then out and down. Okay, so palm knuckles. I'm gonna start at my legs. I'm gonna come all the way down. And I think what I'm gonna do is, yeah, let's do this. Let's start at the hips. So pound your hips. I'm gonna have open palms right now or knuckles. Pound those glutes, pound that lower back. Tap those kidneys. Oh, that might not be pretty, guys. That might not be pretty. Kidneys can hold a lot of shit. All right, so tap those kidneys out. Tap into the sacrum. It's softening my knees right now. Tap into those hips. Come into those side hips. Come into those side hips. And then come down. And now, feel free. I'm gonna add a wiggle to it, all right? I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And I'm gonna see what I can unwind. As I tap, oh. I'm gonna shake it out. God, you don't even know what you're holding on to until you do shit like this. Wow. Okay, so yeah, I had no idea how much crap I was holding on. No wonder I was resisting doing the work. Resisting doing the work, right? So now, outer legs. See if you can get your outer legs and then tap all the way down. And however hard, look at how hard I am. I am physically hitting myself really hard right now. Tap it down. You can do gentle taps if you wish to. But if you can't feel it, if you cannot feel when, I, when you tap your own body, if it's like a numbness, that's a problem. You want to feel some level of like sting minimum of like, oh, something just hit me. Something touched my flesh, right? If you can't feel it and you're pounding, hit harder. That means like that tissue is not getting oxygen. It is not getting blood flow. You're holding some shit. So get in there. Don't be afraid of it. And people are like, oh, I don't feel anything. Bad idea. You want to feel, all right? That's it. We live in a society that doesn't want you to feel anything. You want to feel, trust me, trust me. So the power is in the feeling. The power is in the feeling, okay? So tap into those legs. Come all the way to the outside line. I'm gonna back it up, okay? Come all the way to this outside line. Come down, come down, come down. Oh, all the way down, all the way into the shins. Shins, come all the way down to my shins and ankles, and now I'm coming up the inner thighs. And so if it's too bony, which it just might be, don't use your knuckles, use your palms. So now I'm in my inner thighs, and I'm coming up both. And now I'm coming into, this is like a deep lymphatic system all in here, so it gets mucky, guys. This is a mucky, dense area. So good for your lymph system. I can feel a cloud of gook all around me right now. It's, it's gross. So, okay, coming into my lymph. Yeah, wag it out side to side, coming into my belly. Oh, and then I'm coming up. 
come up my midsection, belly button, sternum, oh, shoulder blades slide down my back. Got some shit, solar plexus is holding some shit. I'll tell you what. And then here, I'm gonna come into the organ. So liver, pancreas, gallbladder, let me tell you. Okay, so I've shifted this arm, got a little tired, a little tired. So this one's good, I can keep going on this side. Um, where I got tired is right in the deltoid. So I'm gonna give it a good pound. That muscle just got fatigued. So I'm gonna help get rid of the fatigue by giving it a good tap. So I have energy to keep going. Notice my breath pattern. I cannot not breathe right now, guys. Like I am literally like, I cannot not breathe. So it's good. So what I can do to add to that if I want is to bounce, right? So not only am I got my breath going, if I had a little bounce to that, that's the shit, right? That's the shit. So I'm gonna keep bouncing. I'm gonna keep bouncing. Get it in, get it in, get it in, get it in. I'm wagging my tail. Can't see that, but let me see if I can show you. Good. Be unafraid, do these crazy ass things. See if the people in your house wanna join you. I mean, talk about having fun, right? Being fucking this weird with each other. It's true, it's true. Talk about some serious vulnerability and breaking through some layers of stuff, right? Like if you and the kids or you and the spouse aren't really having like a good conversation, do this, see what happens. I bet you it'll break through layers. I bet you your expression in those moments will expose things that the partner or the kids did not know you were experiencing or you might have insights what the kids are experiencing based off of this. How cool is that, right? Instead of using your words, Right? Let the expression of what they're experiencing come through and have compassion. And be like, oh no shit, I didn't know they were holding on to that. Because in this moment you're like, oh shit, she's holding on to that? Right? Like, God, she makes some weird, weird noises and she curses a lot. <laughs> she curses a lot. So. <laughs> Good. Come on up. That's like nauseating. It's like, I want to vomit. That's gross. Good. I'm going to come up to my heart. I even wore a bra for you guys this day. Look at that. Look at that. Coming into the pecs. So notice I switched over. Knuckles weren't enough. I wasn't getting a, a finite. I wanted finite. And I even have my knuckles like this. So I'm getting this aspect, okay? So I'm tapping in. Oh. Oh. Finite, finite. Oh, this, this is moving to the back of my neck right now. My hips just released. So all the connective tissue in the anterior of my pecs and throat, all of this was holding my back of my neck. And the second it started to vibrate and release, all of this released, all of my back of my neck. Keep tapping if you were tapping. Just because you're listening to me and I'm not tapping doesn't mean you need to stop. So if you're doing this with me, keep doing. Just listen to the words I'm saying. So you have an idea of what you may or may not experience. Just because you're tapping one area does not mean that's where the real issue is or where it's connected to, okay? So, oh my goodness, this is coming out the back of my heart right now. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna tap into all of this. Oh, that's some shit. So now I wanna go out my arms, okay? So I'm gonna, one at a time, knuckles from down to the outside of my arms. Join me if you wish. Keep doing the chest if you need to. Coming all the way into this forearm. Tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna do it again because it felt so good. Right? <sighs> good. Fingers are just moving around, getting rid of excess energy. Now I'm gonna come in, up the arm, up the arm, yin, yin, all the way up. Oh, goodness me. Gosh. Two completely different storylines and vibrations. Going down the outside part of the arm versus coming into the inside part of the arm. Completely different. Completely different. Good. Now, outside, outside. Yep. Coming in, coming in, coming in, come down, down, down. Oh, this is so nice, so nice. And so I'm gonna give you an idea. Look at my fingers. Can you see my hand? Can you see? I'm not doing this. My fingers are, I'm literally instigating. Woo! 
the digits, that's going into my neck by pounding on that. And I want to come up. Oh my goodness, that was some serious stuff. I'm going to pound on this inside part and come on up, come on up, all the way up. goodness. I got to tap up my skull today, guys. This is a good one. I'm definitely, definitely working through some mental blockages and shit, right? So now I'm coming in. So now I'm in. I'm coming in again. Oh, solar plexus. Shoulder blades come down the back. Coming into that solar plexus, leaning it back even. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. to come in to my chest. Let's get this neck, guys. Okay, so if you're with me still, maybe dust yourself off. Keep pounding if that's what you're called to do. Maybe dust yourself off, okay? All that thick, dense energy that's coming through right now, feel free to move it, dust it, okay? Just so if yours is as dense as mine can be, go burn some sage. <laughs> Just saying, that's not a bad idea either, okay? Now, I'm going to come into a tricky spot. Using fingers, three finger points, neck. Not everyone's gonna wanna do this. I am sorry, but it's needed. Please meet your fear. Meet your fear. If this is your fear, be gentle. Okay, come in and tap. So I'm hitting myself pretty hard. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, I have a really, I have strong fingers and uh, I'm coming in. This is tender. All of this is really tender for me. And so I'm coming in. These are the, refer to the SCMs, sternocloided mastoid. So these muscles often are activated due to whiplash. And what most people don't know, and I'm going to do the other side now, whiplash does not need to be from a car accident. Whiplash can happen just from a jolt. Me just doing that is a form of whiplash. It's can the head and neck handle this motion fast? And that, that fight or flight will go into these SCMs and cause problems. So you could go for body work and have tons of locked up shit up and through here and never have had a car accident to have caused a whiplash, but you have created it through a gentle fall, um, a slip, um, or just what appears to be a whiplash of you just having fear and you know, not trusting the reality to which you live in. Um, and you just lock into your neck and throat. Oh my God, this is like, that's some horrible shit going on in there, I'll tell you what. And, um, and so I'm not just doing a direct tap. I'm not doing tap like this. Let's see if I can get the angle. I'm kind of tapping upwardly. So I'm coming in and up, in and up. It's a brush up. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, it's like a, it's an in and up, in and up, in and up, in and up, in and up. And I'm trying to get this connective tissue to lengthen. Oh, <laughs> as my friend would say, I'm kind of stabby right now. Like it's bringing out the stabby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With love, with love. I just want to stab shit with love. I'm just saying. So good. So fucking good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Again, I want you to know exactly the experience because you might have similar experience. You might not. You might be like, this bitch is crazy. True that. However, you might be afraid of realizing how crazy you are. And that's the part. Right? When you do this kind of stuff, it makes you aware that you too are fucking crazy. It's crazy beautiful though. It's an expression, it's colorful. You don't even know that you've been carrying this with you. You've been carrying that crazy vibration in your body, making you even crazier up here, making decisions that you don't wish you wished you made, saying things you wish you didn't say. Because the whole time, it's in you. Like I am literally connecting to shit inside of my body that I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I bring this with me everywhere I go. Like, you know, people 
for the first time ever during the COVID pandemic, realized, I've been saying this, I'm 20 years, holistic health, 20 years asking people for their, to better their selves health-wise because your vibration impacts everyone's vibration. Keep it fucking simple, right? Like vibration impacts vibration. Basic science, right? Let alone bacteria, unhealthy viruses, bacteria that reside inside of the body, right? So if you yourself are unwell and you're breathing unwellness into the environment of others, you're creating an unwellness. The pandemic showed that, like, your well-being impacts my well-being, right? If we learned nothing, I pray that people hold that truth and understand that your well-being impacts my well-being. And so my vibration impacts your vibration, and you know that. If you're watching my videos, you know that. And if you don't, then you should probably either sit with me and learn or click me off. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm not everyone's flavor crazy. It's true. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yep. So, fingertip tap, fingertip tap. Oh. And of course, this little voice was like, I don't know why I wouldn't be everyone's flavor crazy because I'm funny. You know what I mean? Like, I know I'm funny. <laughs> I make myself laugh all the time. So, <laughs> get in here. Get in here. And now, oh, let's stimulate this. This is my cheeks are like, oh, I am cramping in the face right now. Oh, so a few of you know that I had a head contusion in the last couple of weeks. And my skull has been shifting. I've had a lot of like cranial sacral realignments going on and I am feeling it. So it was as if my nose got broken. It went right down. It shifted my sphenoid and it went out my ear canal. Well, now that it's no longer as dramatic in that ear canal. And I mean, like, it was like somebody had a metal spike shoving it into my ear canal every time I opened my jaw or moved my skull. Like it was a deep spike all the way through. That has shifted, and now the skull, it, this, the fascia is moving across the back of the skull, and it's moving towards this ear. So I am aware that they're going to, they, the, 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 my soul tribe, um, well, not even my soul tribe, excuse me, those that work with me, my team, right, are getting the connective tissue to move out of this side, this ear too. So this ear is probably going to go through a big deep release. Maybe it'll be a spike-like feeling, maybe not, I don't know. All I know is the connective tissue inside my ear canal needs to unravel. My, my whole sphenoid has changed, all of this needs to unravel as well. So, come up to the head and neck, tap, tap, tap my fingers. I am like, just tapping. I don't know if you can hear how hard that is, but I am giving it a good, good smack. And so there's another thing. What I'm doing today is an overall. This is a head to toe overall. This is an idea of a good way of awakening the body, right? That's what you've been conscious of so far with me. And so now I'm coming in and I'm getting the back of my skull. Oh, this is shooting down behind my scapula. Oh my goodness, this sucks. This sucks. Oh, it's shooting out my eyes. And my shoulder, oh, big chunks of stuff are moving out of that arm now. So honor your bodies, check in, take pauses when you need to, breathe it out, shake it out. Good. Now, here's the next level of it. And this is something that, hey, it might not be for everybody, but... I'm going to do fingers on my forehead. This is tender, guys. I can't even tell you how tender our skulls can be. You don't even know until you do this. And so you can hear how heavy I'm dropping my hand on myself here. Okay. I am just coming into my whole entire skull. some tender shit. I've had some, I've had a good few head contusions over my journey. Those that know me, um, 2012, I had a major car accident and I had a head contusion, um, that blinded me in one of my eyes, um, for over a year of my life. I had to learn how to read and write again. Um, I could write, 
Uh, it took me a while to learn letters and numbers, but I could write better than I could read for years. It took me about four years to read and comprehend um, more than a paragraph at a time. Uh, so yeah, it was quite a journey. Um, my sight has uh, come back and I had better than 2020 for years and years and years and years. Um, I'm just so fucking blessed, so blessed. Um, the format and method I utilized at the time is called cross in -ology. C-R-O-S-S-I-N-O-L-O-G-Y. I hope I spelled that right. cross -ology, also known as brain integration. Look it up. Brilliant. Um, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, oh, forgive me, McIntyre. Ayer, she has gotten married, so I might not, I forget which is the last appropriate name for her. Uh, she is in the Massachusetts area. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, I worked with her for about a year or more, and uh, actually a good few years, but hardcore the first year afterwards. She brought back my eyesight using this system of um, brain integration cross -onology. I have since found one, the only one in Florida. I actually had to travel hours and hours to see this person, and it was worth it to get uh, another brain um, integration done in the most recent months, uh, just as like a fine tuning and help with everything. Um, but brain integration, remarkable, great for dyslexia, uh, stroke victims, um, blindness. I mean, shit, she got my sight back. Um, so there are methods and I am somebody who does 90 plus percent of what I do is all natural methods of healing. I do not like to rely on the medical if I don't have to at all. Um, so we're going to keep tapping, tapping, tapping. And so as you notice, I stopped tapping my skull because all the energy that was coming through here, all this connective tissue started to like, oh, lengthen down through my neck. So we're going to come in. Feel free to come back to the skull. Let's come back to the skull. Tapping it out, tapping it out. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, give yourself a good squeeze here. Come down, tap out those clavicles, tap out those pecs. Oh, this is a good one. This sucks. This sucks. Oh, the breast tissue. Get in there, people. Oh my gosh. Be gentle enough on the breast itself. You can pound on the pecs, the muscles, but the actual uh, fatty tissue of the breast, it needs to be shook and shaken. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. It's really important but I'm tapping it gentle. I'm not pounding on the sensitive tissue there. I'm just tapping gently on there, okay? But tap on there, help that lymphatic system, help any of those toxins get out. Come back into the lymphatic. I'm gonna come in here and tap my side body. This is horrible, people. Ribs, you have no idea how rough these ribs. Tap them. If you, have, you get this, yeah, it's good shit, it's good shit. So get in, tap out these ribs. Tap out these ribs. So, like right here is a little numb, okay? I have some numb spots, so see what I'm doing? I am as much as I can. Now here, you might not be able to reach here. Look at how much effort this is for me, and I am a pretty flexible person. So, oh, I need to get this right here. Oh, and I will be teaching classes on this as well as teaching you how to do this with partners because I am finding unbelievable results working with my clients and doing partner work on this. And so now I'm going to come into my back body. I'm going to come in as high as I can, okay? And then down to the kidneys, lower back. Oh, shake it out if you need to. Sacrum hips. Come on down again. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you. My, one of my arms is really tired. Woo, that was a big shift. Okay. I just had a huge shift in my lower sacrum, out my hips. There we go. Woo, child. Okay. <sighs> so right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my hands and I'm pushing them on the hips and I'm letting my knees gently bend. So I'm kind of like walking it out gently. I'm sorry I don't have enough. I'm just kind of doing this with like wagging my tail and pushing. So just, oh, bending one knee, bending the other knee. 
and trying to create a space and lengthening in the QLs and in the hips. Okay. <gasps> so, I feel good. I feel good. I'm not as focused as I need to be. I still need to have some more work to do. Um, but I'm going to go into my own personal practice now. Hopefully that was a good starter for people. I had about three or more messages this morning asking for this work. So I'm pretty excited. That's pretty exciting. Um, again, if you know of a live platform or if you can suggest to me a way of doing like a class with this, if you're interested, please let me know. I would love to start offering this as daily, weekly classes, whatever we need, um, over Zoom or something like that. I would be happy to. Um, however, let me know if we can do some live stuff. That would be great too. I would love that. That would be great. Um, all right, big hugs. Mwah. Peace out, tribe. Enjoy. Check in with your breath. I can feel where I'm still clogged. <sighs> Yeah. I don't want to hold it. I don't want that with me. Why? I don't want to share that with other people. I'll share it with you. <laughs> right? <sighs> yep. We do what we can. We do what we can in the doses in which we can. So thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing time with me. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, peace out. Mwah. Enjoy.